My name is Jeff. Nice to meet you, Solitaire. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Dark Souls. I know I don't usually record on Sundays, but I figured, you know, I've already been playing to farm souls anyway, so why the hell not? So if you guys remember, I told you before, we're going to figure out how to kick that ladder down, and that's just what we're going to do. Uh, forewarning, and also going to say sorry right now, um, I already killed the first boss. Because when I was coming through earlier to uh, level up and shit, um, I'll actually show you the area I was in in a moment here after I get done defending myself. Um, but there was an area I was in, just you know, going to collect souls, and I got invaded by a black phantom. And because I was where I was, you know, I was trying to kill him and getting attacked by the boss on the bridge at the same time because he had activated him. So just you know, shit happens. Oh, and also, like I said before, and again, I'll show you real quick um, that. We wanted to level up in a certain way to make sure we can use this here uh, bow and arrows. Um, let's see. Yeah, you want your dexterity to be at least at level 12. Obviously, I've gone beyond that, as you can see, and also, you know... Level up other things, but, you know, sometimes that's just the best way to go with this game is, you know, get some shit done taken care of. Just, whatever. Just like we're going to take care of these guys, just to make our lives a little bit easier. I don't think I can get him from this angle. Ah, there we go, right in the face! Ah, uh, stop dodging. Now, there's a third one up there, but worry about him in a minute. First, I want to drag him over here. Come say hello, Eugene! He's so dumb. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, shit, need ya. There we go. What are you slicing at? You suck. So first, we're gonna go up this way, just kind of clear out a little path so we can get through a little bit easier. And, uh, there is, like, a, uh, tougher enemy, almost like a mini-boss in this area, too. But we'll get to him after I give you guys a few more pointers. Because obviously I didn't get, you know, the bow and arrow for, you know, from nowhere. <clears throat> and I didn't show you guys where the merchant was yesterday, so I'll do that here in a little bit. So, just, like I said, then there's going to be a treasure chest in here. It's not a mimic. Um, but yeah, that's why you want to come through here, kill those guys. So that way you can get it. Come up here, be prepared. I like to have my fire ready. Because there's going to be three guards right here. Oh! Okay, got them. You really got to work on your timing with these assholes sometimes. Excuse you. And, um, if you have a lockpick or some sort of key to open this door, there's a chest over on the other side. Um, oh, okay, I forgot about this guy. Whoops. Whoop. Okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not used to having the bow and arrow set to my, um, shield slot, so I get a little confused on the controls sometimes. But, you know, shit happens. There we go. And, yeah, when you get arrows, um, for the part that we're gonna try and get to in order to get the Drake Sword... I would recommend having at least 130 arrows. Just because it's going to take roughly 60 to 80 um, to get the sword. Uh, but also, uh, don't need that. Um, you're, you know, it's easy to miss the target quite a bit. So it's good to have, you know, extras and backups just to be safe. Fuck. Okay, I got this, I promise. And you're going to want to take these guys out as swiftly as possible. Looks like he needs a Tylenol. Fuck you. I'm going to move over a bit, otherwise I won't even get to him. Come on. There we go. Whatever, both of you can come at me for all I care. Here we go. Alright. That's how you kill two dumbasses with one sword. And then there's going to be a guy up there. And if you haven't gone through here already, just be careful going up those stairs, because there is a boulder. And it does hurt. It hurts, you know, just, just a little lot. But still, not something you want to get hit by. So, well, Yusa, give me attention. Alright, here we go. I believe that's what you were trying to accomplish. Now we're going to go down here. Because there is that, uh, the other boss I was talking about. Well, more like a mini enemy. But, whatever. Uh, let's see if I can actually sneak up on him. Get the stealth attack. Yes! Uh, now what I like to do 
is make sure he comes after you, but you want to run away to get to a vantage point. It's just the smartest option at this point. So, that's what we're going to do. Climb up here. Because he's dumb. He doesn't know how to climb. You know, he'll just kind of dick off over here. There he is. So, you know, if you got enough magic, you can just throw fireballs at him. I personally like to come over here and just huzzah! Fire kill may hurt bad. And he'll just keep doing that a few times. Uh, I did that prematurely. Whatever. Here he comes. And whatever. He's pretty much dead, so I mean, you can almost. Huzzah! Oh, shit. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I was not trying to fail. Whoops! It's all good though guys, I'll uh, just kind of skip ahead. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, this time I have a pretty decent idea. It might still be stupid, but there's only one way to find out. So, we're going to sneak up behind him with this here black firebomb, and then, then we shall run like hell. Because we're pretty much trying to accomplish the same goal as before, but this time without fucking up. He is right on me. Nope. Okay. Let's do this again. Yeah, black firebombs really help sometimes. And regular firebombs, might as well use those, get those out of the way as well. This is actually working pretty swimmingly. Alright, now he's gonna come over here, do that stupid shit. Oh. There we go. And we got him. This is up. And 800 souls. Cool. Still got 9 SS blasts and 5 fireballs left, so I'd say that's pretty decent got some humanity back as well, so... Onwards, we shall go! Oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> I forgot I told you that I was going to show you guys the merchant. My bad. And, okay. Well, it's a good thing I already cleared all this shit out over here, so it'll be, like, no time getting to him. So, we just come back over here. Now, come down here to kill the guys out here in the courtyard. Take a left to kill the two, um, shielded spear guys with fire! Come down here! Kill the man around the corner, come out here, and here is our guy. Which, you know, since I'm here, I might as well get a few more arrows anyway, just to be safe. Let's see. Standard arrows. Yeah, we'll get like 50. I think 50 is a good number. There we go. And thank you. Much obliged, sir. Okay, might as well heal. Alright. And now we can move onward. I like slapping turkeys. Stupid fucking turkeys. I don't care if you're PETA. I'll still slap a turkey. Alright, now. Here we go. Oh yeah, the door down there is locked, so, I mean, unless you're a thief or you just have the, um, necessary ability to open it somehow, which I don't, so fuck it, not gonna worry about it. Anyways, when you come out here, there is a boss that drops down from the other tower there, but he doesn't activate until you get, like, I don't know, a little halfway over. What you want to do, as soon as he drops down, well, also before he drops down, because there's two archers up there that you want to go kill, but after he drops down, you want to come back up here, you know, hit him the best you can from above if you get impatient do the dropping attack on him whatever tutorial boss 101 right so first we just need to make sure those assholes are out of the way I have 6,660 souls I hope that's not a sign of things to come cause otherwise I'll feel like dancing Do, 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 do. All this cardio is so good for my heart, you guys. Even though I look like a fucking charred up 
fucking zombie dick, but what is? Break the barrels in the boxes. Especially back here, because there are items back here. Alright, more cells. Got some more cells. Alright, now. First, we're not going to go there yet. I'll show you why momentarily. Uh, first, we want to talk to this guy, because he's cool. I like his helmet. Hi! Uh, My name is Jeff! I am Solaire of nice to meet you, Solitaire. Let's see. Yeah, if you talk to him again, he'll give you stuff. Yeah, I'll hear you up, buddy. I'll bend over for you. Because you're sexy. Alright, cool. Alright. Yeah, so he tells you about Johnny Cooperation! And now we must run, stick to the right, put your shield up in case someone attacks you. Keep running, keep fucking running, do not stop for shit. Woo! Oh, oh, don't, why are you rolling backwards? There's a dragon there! Okay, but we lived, so I would advise doing a roll there as soon as you can. Anyways, now if we come back over here, it's the ladder from the fucking bonfire. Now you can just drop down, um, do whatever you need to do, and you're good. And then another quick thing I'll show you here before we end off because it is getting almost near that time is if you go back up the ladder do 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 well actually there's a couple things I'm going to show you before we end off here I'm going to show you guys how to get the drake sword anyways so there's enemies up here right bad guys well the dragon doesn't throw fire unless you just kind of go where it's like all charred up so just step over there step off of it dragon comes with a rolling rain of fire and you get like free 500 souls from it you can sit there and just farm that as many times as you want but um let's see there's gonna be a couple of guys over here we want to take care of first otherwise they will try and get in your way yeah you come here you're not listening. Come hither, you bitch. You stupid motherfucker. Oh, oh, now he's listening. Cool. This is a little inconvenient for me, sir. Now, well, in order to break their fucking guard, just dual wield. And then, you want to come and stand over here from this angle. Basically, you're just going to want to shoot his tail until it just gives you the drake sword. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick so I can get it. Um, I'm just going to kind of... Eh, you know, fuck it. I'll just fast forward. I don't feel like pressing buttons right now. Come on, baby! Let my fart! And then he'll move if you're quick enough. You can get him from here, too. Bastard! He's so fast. So furious. Come on. Just aim at the tail, aim for the tail. Trail comes right here. Ah, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm gonna smack your mommy in the goddamn ugly face. Yeah, got him again. I'm so ballin'. You can actually get him twice right there if you really got the agility for it. But I'm just playing it safe right now. Safety first, wear a condom when playing souls. Otherwise, you will get raped, and you will get AIDS, and you will die. Because everyone knows that's how your computer gets viruses. You didn't put a condom on your hard drive. Fly! Lesbian seagull! I'm so... Yeah, fuck you. Fuck your goddamn tail. You're an asshole. You murderer! I've come this way. Shit, I missed. Come on, let's smack a baby. Oh, I missed him, it's so hard, guys. Ah, fuck your stupid tail. It's all stupid. It just looks like a poop nugget. And there we go, guys, we got it. Let's get the hell out of it. Okay, now we will equip it. You know, it, it doesn't really scale with you. Oh, insufficient strength. 
So obviously I'll have to level up a little bit in order to use it. Uh, let's see. What's my strength at right now? 15? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. What are the requirements? I can't even tell right now. Whatever, I'll just fucking level up until I figure it out. You can't stop me, Mr. Guys. And then, yeah, if you just kind of continue through here, go through the door on the left, there's going to be three rats and a ladder to get up to another um, bonfire over there, or at least area to get to it. Um, an alternative route you can take that I'll show you real quick. I don't exactly recommend it, unless you're quick enough, but if you lure the dragon out to work, get him to land there and you quickly run between his legs and just run straight through the door, you can do it that way too. But either way, I'm just going to show you guys how to get the Drake Sword. I'm not doing that alternative shit right now. So I'm going to come down here, do as I must, level up so I can use the Drake Sword. And we will continue this shit tomorrow. Alright, my hiney X? Love you, bitches, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, Iron Popcan here. I just want to say thank you all for watching our videos and supporting us. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out to um, one of my favorite places here in Salt St. Paul called Level Up Games, as you can see. You know, they do have an official website. You can order from them. Um, I just want to do this. Like, you know, I'm not officially sponsored by them, but they have been awesome enough to, you know, hook me up with some stuff. And they have put, you know, flyers for our page all over their stores. So, I mean, I really appreciate that. And I want to, you know, help get them out there because they do, they, like, have a great selection on video games from, you know, the new gen all the way back to, like, NES, Atari, and everything in between. Um, probably the biggest pop uh, figure collection I have ever laid my eyes upon. I mean, we got over 14 pops, and I would say at least the vast majority, at least three-fourths of them have come from them. They're very rare, very hard to find, as well as if you guys have seen um, the Hyena Den video, you also seen the um, Deadpool figurine, which is very rare, very hard to find also from there as well as that little X-Pac figure. So, I mean, they are just, they're a great collection of gems, as you can see in the pictures here, and I'll show you some of the stuff. I mean, they're huge on trading card games as well, board games. They have tournaments almost every weekend, and just, that's only half of their store. I mean, you don't even see the other half where they have all the video games and just everything else. Um, comics, um, even today, like, they do this frequent thing where they actually have free comic book day, as you can see. Um, they have it going on today, so if any of you are in the St. Paul area and you just want to go check it out, yeah, I mean, you can get up to free, uh, 10 free comics at once. So, just want to help them get their name out there. I'll put a link down to their website um, and everything else, you know, their social media and all that stuff. Either way, guys, you know, just, I want to say thank you to them and thank you to all of you as well. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I love you, my hyenaniacs, and I'll see you guys later.